Well, for your Tuesday, some of us have gotten some downpours. Others may not have, but if you didn't get rain today, there's a good chance you may catch some at some point before the rest of the week is over because we have daily rain chances in the forecast and today we've picked up about a quarter of an inch of rainfall in Meridian specifically and here's a check of what we are dealing with for the month and year for Meridian and we do have a surplus for the month picking up thus far a little bit more than two and let's say three quarters of an inch of rainfall in Meridian so we have a surplus of close to an inch before the year we have a surplus of more than 10 inches so in a nutshell, we've had a decent amount of rain and we could use a little bit of a break. But again, we're going to have daily rain chances as mentioned for the rest of the week. And even now tracking some showers and thunderstorms out there. The strongest of the storms is making its way towards Highway 45. Again, equipment just on the edge of the uh, bulk of the lightning activity. This is kind of making its way east and south and east. So again, Shibuta dealing with some heavy rainfall right now. Downtown equipment is going to tap into that. Looking a little bit better for Heidelberg. You have had some very heavy rain. Now it's kind of easing up a bit. And Stonewall, you're just to the north where most of the activity is. Meridian has had a few showers and we have a new developing shower just kind of north and west of the city. But the heaviest rain is now making its way more so south of I-20 in southeastern Lauderdale County. The big picture here shows this little counterclockwise spin here. Here. And this is what we call an upper level disturbance. This is a visible one, though. They're not always easy to detect, but you can definitely see that counterclockwise spin with the cloud flow. And this will gradually make its way more east and more so south and east with time. And that's going to help to kind of enhance our chances for rain heading into tomorrow. So through this evening, the showers and the thunderstorms will continue to somewhat weaken and dwindle. An isolated shower or storm can't be ruled out uh, as we work our way towards bedtime tonight. But for the most part, keeping it quiet. However, tomorrow, again, and we're going to have that upper level feature coming in. I do think there is a chance for some spotty showers in the morning, but with that upper level feature coming in and the heat of the afternoon, we have an abundance of moisture to just kind of fuel everything. Once we head towards midday, we're expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms to pop up. So here's the lunch hour. Many of you will need the umbrella. Here's two o'clock and you see those bright colors indicating heavy rain potential, possibly some storms. Five o'clock drive. Not everyone getting wet, but some of us may have to use those windshield wipers a time or two. And then through the evening, things will wind down for the most part as we lose the day's heating. Now, as you look ahead towards, let's say next week, you're looking at the precipitation outlook and notice the more grayish or neutral coloring indicating that we're not going to have a whole lot going on in terms of rain. Notice what looks to be a dry scenario over the south. Looks like another heat dome could possibly develop. And with that being said, unseasonably hot weather from Texas to our area is expected as we head into next week. So even though temperatures were a little bit below the average today, by next week, we're looking at temperatures back into the mid 90s and you'll see that in just a bit. 87 in Meridian, but it's so muggy. It feels like it is 101 at this hour. Butler is 88, but it feels like it's 100. And this is because of these dew points again, very high. So it's going to be a steamy night. We're going to keep our lows in the 70s for tomorrow. Highs kind of flirting with 90, but of course feeling hotter when you factor in the humidity. But again, every day storm chances and look at next week heating up again. Those mid 90s will return. So we go from below average to above average, but honestly, it's so muggy. You may not even notice that mm. the day was below the average.